Can you imagine the modern world without plastics? They are part of our daily life and we can find them almost everywhere. But are plastics really good or a big problem? What are the environmental impacts of plastics? In this video, we will talk about the applications, formation, and environmental impacts of plastics. Plastic is one of the most used materials in our society. From hospital use and medicine packaging to textile fibers. From microwave trays to cosmetics. From food packaging to garbage bags. Bottles, stoppers, bags, jars, toys, sewage and water pipes, and yogurt pots are some examples of the use of plastics. But when did the use of plastic begin? Bakelite is considered the first plastic or the first truly synthetic polymer and was created in 1907 by Leo Bakeland. Its formation occurred from the reaction between phenol and formaldehyde, presenting hardness, resistance to heat, and electricity. Due to its heat resistance and insulation properties, Bakelite was used to manufacture telephones, radios, and electrical items. Currently, Bakelite is seldom used in consumer products. In the 1930s, polyamide or nylon appeared, and, after World War II, many other types of plastics were created, such as polyethylene, polystyrene, and vinyl. Plastics have become part of people's daily lives and it is difficult to imagine the world without them. With technological advancements, a type of infinitely recyclable plastic appeared in 2018. Polydicotinamine or PDK plastics are designed to easily break down when mixed with an acid. The monomers from the decomposition process can be recovered to make new plastics while maintaining initial quality. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This way we can continue to make videos for you. Plastic is a polymeric material capable of being molded generally by the application of pressure and heat. It is a type of synthetic polymer and is produced from monomers, which are smaller molecules and are the basic units that make up polymers. They are macromolecules with repeating chemical units, linked together. Petroleum is the main raw material for the manufacture of plastics and is formed by a mixture of compounds that can be separated by distillation or cracking due to their different boiling temperatures. Only 4% of the world's oil production is used to obtain plastics. Plastic can also be produced from sugarcane, obtaining 100% reusable and recyclable plastic, and from starch, but the plastic obtained is biodegradable, but not recyclable. The formation of plastic can be represented by the generic equation of the chemical union of monomers that originate the polymers. Polyethylene is one type of plastic and is formed by the monomer ethylene. Polypropylene is another type of plastic and is formed by the monomer propylene. But what about the environmental impacts? About 100 kilograms of plastic waste is generated by one person annually. Plastic waste can generate several problems. During its use, durability and resistance are an advantage but after discarding it becomes a problem. The degradation process of plastic in the environment is very slow, taking more than 100 years. This is due to its resistance to bacteria and fungi. The volume of waste generated from plastic is large and difficult to compact. Microplastics are also a problem. They are small pieces of plastic. Its size is less than 5 mm. This size can be reached by degradation or they may already be this size. The types of plastics related to the formation of microplastics are polyethylene terephthalate, polypropylene, polystyrene, polyurethane, polyvinyl chloride, and nylon. Microplastics can come directly into residential, industrial, and shipping waste or originate in the degradation processes of larger plastics. One example of the degradation process is what happens in the oceans. In the oceans, plastic is affected by wave energy, the sun, the presence of abrasive materials such as sand, rock, and gravel, different levels of oxygen, and high temperatures, breaking up into small particles or microplastic that can end up in the food chain. It takes on the appearance of food, being used by marine animals. 
This can cause the death of these animals and interfere with the reproductive cycle of different species. Incorrect disposal of plastic can also cause clogged culverts and ditches, resulting in flooding. And, another problem is the visual pollution of these residues. What can we do? Recycling, reuse, and reduction become the best way to avoid the environmental impacts of plastic. Some tips to reduce the environmental impacts of plastics are to avoid using single-use plastic materials such as cutlery, straws, cups, and plates used at parties. Choose biodegradable materials, reuse the plastic and recycle. Leave a comment, if you would like to know more about plastics or recycling. If you liked the video, leave your like, and subscribe to our channel. If you would like to know more about environmental impacts, check out the videos in the description.